Hello YouTubers. What you see in front of you are not ordinary paging speakers, but just miscellaneous speakers hooked up to my Atlas AA35 amplifier. Now you may be asking, how am I getting 70 volts to all of these? All I have to say is you don't have to have 70 volts. There's not just 70 volts on these amplifiers, but there's 25, 25, 70 and then some some amps vary but some have 8 ohms like this one does this one has 8 ohms only some of like this amplifier will have 4 ohms 8 ohms 16 ohms and 25 to 70 now this is not going to be stereo obviously this is going to be mono but i just got i just got these two today and these were sitting outside legitimately in the dirt and I actually cleaned them up and these are outdoor speakers so being that they're outdoor speakers they survived literally the speakers are covered in dirt but I just took a little I just turned on the hose spigot in the front yard and I just allowed the water to gently spray on the cones but these are plastic cones so they could take the water fine there's no openings and then you got a couple tweeters on this one one tweeter and then this one's one of my one of my previous speakers in the room, the OWI. Now this is just a standalone speaker. The other one is an amplifier, but I actually hooked this up to the amplifier here. Which this one actually is four ohms, but it won't hurt. These are this one's four ohms, these two are eight ohms, and then these Panasonics here, you've probably seen them in the past. They actually go to a stereo system, which it works just fine. There's nothing wrong with the stereo system. I just wanted to hook these up just for fun. Now, this is through the UPAM. All of these are getting UPAM. Let's just call it that. Don't mind all my mess in here because I'm in the process of rearranging the room. I'm going to put, put the camera right next to these two. There we go. Joe, please report to the lumber yard. Once again, Joe, please report to the lumber yard. Thank you. Yep. And these sound pretty good, actually. They don't. There's a little bit of the rattle, but that's because of these plastic enclosures. Again, the, these were not designed for that. <laughs> but these speakers don't sound bad. In fact, I think I remember these two here. I actually took them out of that restaurant, Crazy Jim's. The one, I, the restaurant I usually do a lot of work. A lot of the service work for. They don't want these no more, and I, 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 I was told that I could keep the system, just take it and mess around with it. But you could go, if you're wondering why there's this pink tissue paper around here, long story short, the foam was rotted on these. And I could tell that a repair was done in the past, not with the foam, but, but they used scotch tape. <laughs> I don't know, some of you speaker enthusiasts might laugh at that. There was scotch tape on these because they knew, they knew that the speakers were bouncing loose, but it's a low power stereo system, so of course it won't hurt these speakers, but the tissue paper is a life hack. And nail polish too, because nail polish is for like repairing, that's the quick and dirty way of repairing speakers that bounce loose, and then they got these two. Fortunately, you might hear a little bit of music in the background, but it's obviously copyright music, and I don't want the copyright police to get to me. These two don't sound bad. These dual branded speakers. Hello. Yeah, see, this one's got bass, and they don't sound bad. In fact, they almost sound like they're... They sound like they're almost made for this that kind of application, even though these are just outdoor stereo speakers. Hello. Yeah. And this old WI seems to be working too. And it just cut out because the box. The box timer went off. Dial 25 again. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the box timer situation. Hello. Hello. Yep. Larry, please dial bakery line. Once again, Larry, please dial bakery line. Thank you. 
I do notice that these kind of sound like the Troubles High a little bit, but I think what I need to do, and this is going to happen pretty soon anyways, I'm going to have to redo a lot of this wiring and then also this outlet situation in the back. I do have to keep that orange outlet there as you see. That's an isolated ground outlet. And I know some of you might say, what? Well, some of you might say, why do you need an isolated ground outlet? What I do, you see how it's in that metal box right now? I grounded the metal box out. So this box is grounded and it goes through this yoke. But what an isolated ground outlet is, it separates that ground from this ground. So I purposely did not connect the ground to this because I don't, what drives me crazy about some people is they just cut the ground prongs off. And the reason I had to do that was because these amps are very prone to ground loop, ground loop issues, ground loop interferences, very sensitive. So that's why I just use an isolated ground outlet for that life hack. If any of you have, have 70 volt amplifier issues with ground loops, you can either use those cheap adapters or you can just make your own little extension lead if you know what you're doing and just get an isolated ground outlet at your local Lowe's or Home Depot store. Or even on eBay, you could buy these things for pennies on eBay. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, this is it. I'm gonna have to find more speakers. In fact, I got a bucket over here with car speakers in it, I believe. Yeah, I've been cleaning out my room and I've been finding out, been finding more stuff put away. And in fact, these are car speakers that were given to me, I don't know, like six, seven years back. They're four ohms. You know what? I gotta connect these. Why not? Oh, look, cool. I've got the leads in here. Yeah, these are car speakers, by the way. These, they were never used. They were just given to me, so... I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to connect to these two car speakers alone. And I'll, they'll be, I'll make sure they get you panned. A new term, you pan. Okay, YouTubers. So I got my car speakers hooked up. These Pioneer car speakers. Aftermarket stuff, I'll call it. Because that's really what it is. And they work great. In fact, I wish I could play music, but... I don't, that's too much to set up in the house at the moment. I just want to make this quick. Just test speakers, so. Get my phone, we dial 25. To call the UPAM. That sound pretty good. So. Attention all Fry's customers, everyone please report to the front of the store. Once again, all Fry's customers, please report to the store because we have an emergency going on. And please make your purchases. By the way, if you're wondering what Fry's is, it's my local grocery store. They also use these phones. It's basically part of the Kroger division. They don't sound bad for these car speakers. One day I'd like to go to one of those car scrapyards and just take a bunch of speakers out of cars, various cars, and just have fun with them. Yeah, I'm a speaker guy. And also, we got this speaker here. I did not buy this. In fact, this is one of the ones I had already from that from that speaker lot I won a couple years back. But I took a wire brush and I brushed all of the old paint off because it was scratched anyways. And I wanted to experiment on my own. It, Really, it's just one of these baffles here. It's that exact baffle, but except I spray painted it black. It doesn't look bad, and it's got a nice Atlas Sound Driver or Sound Dealer, or however you pronounce it. Model FD. Bowling Alley speakers, yeah. And by the way, if those of you that don't know, this came out of a bowling alley in Wisconsin. Pretty nifty stuff. In fact, I remember one of these had nicotine all covered on the baffle. It was one of these baffles was like yellowed, and I thought the paint yellowed. And when I cleaned it, when I did my cleaning process of all the baffles, it turned white again. Yeah, nicotine smoking at its finest. So now I have another crazy idea. I know this video is random, but I know some of you enjoy this kind of content. Got these PS4 headphones. By the way, not mine. I don't play video games, but 
he's one of my dads. He's a video game type of guy. And long story short, the dog got a hold of these. Well, my sister's puppy that happens to be a Border Collie. And by the way, if you decide to get a Border Collie, take my advice. They're very wild dogs and they'll get to anything you leave. Especially with the puppies. They're trained. It's just a clock over there. But they'll get to anything. They even chew up cables. In fact, I've had to repair so many plugs around here now thanks to that dog. Not a Border Collie fan, so that was all my sister. And I'd make sure she pays for the damages because some of this stuff's not easy to repair. But these are not... I'm not going to repair them. Not these. these they're just going to buy new headphones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice these wires back. I'm just going to wire both of these in and then just run a line back to this amplifier. I'm going to turn it down on low because get, due to these being earphones, or not earphones, headphones, I don't want to blow these little, blow the little driver out. And I don't know if these are Sony branded Head, like the actual speakers well the headphone speakers uh, whatever you want to call them are I don't know if they're made by Sony or they're made by some weird Chinese company so I'm going to get these wired up and I'm going to U-PAM it yep u pam new term if you get one of the if you get a U-PAM you could just say I u pam the speaker today any random speaker yeah, I, should get, I wish I had a kid's meal toy. I would probably do that to a kid's meal toy speaker right now if I had one, but I don't. So, get these wired up and stay tuned for more. Here, this, I'm going to turn this up for a little bit. Like, for maybe like a second or two so you can hear the music running. Hear a preview of the music. And by the way, this is not American music. This is Russian music. <laughs> Yeah, but that doesn't sound bad. This this amplifier drives is pretty good. In fact, I know these speakers take a lot of power. I tried hooking up low powered amplifiers to these, and it usually I know it's like the lights, the indicator lights, kind of a dim due to like with the bass drop on this or high pitch trouble. This amplifier could tolerate it pretty well. So yeah, and fun fact, I listen to a little bit of Russian music. Yeah, that's me. Free country, right? So, get these going. Okay, so, I don't know if any of you encounter this type of wire. And by the way, I hate this kind of wire. But what I usually do is I get a lighter and I melt the coating off. And I also melt this fabric because it gets in the way. So then I can make a good connection. Yeah, I run into this a lot with the cheap 3.5 mil jacks and headphones earphones so it's a life hacker yep that's my sister's puppy you just heard the wild dog yep but just melt these down with a lighter and you can make good contact that's how you make proper contact okay okay guys so i'm back with these ps4 headphones yeah i have it kind of tacked in like that but believe it or not i guess these drivers are built pretty good because they're actually pretty loud they still sound like they're like little maybe in it, like maybe a one inch speakers and see i'm paging right through these ps4 headphones yeah that's how they sound they don't sound bad I bet they probably blow your eardrums if you're wearing these. Attention all low shoppers. There's a 50% off discount today on every item in the store. Once again, everything in the store is 50% off. And the and the box just kicked right in. Gotta love when box does that to you. Let's make another joke. Let's make a PS4 joke. Since these are PS4 headphones. Attention all Walmart shoppers, all PS4s are 80% off. Once again, all PS4s are 80% off for the first 15, for only 15 customers only. Thank you very much.
Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I know, random, right? You probably never imagined if seeing PS4 headphones being paged. You gotta get creative sometimes, and I, I would do more speakers, but I don't wanna bore the guys out. But I have a whole pile of speakers in here television speakers, and yeah, mostly TV speakers. Tore off of rear projection TVs and CRT TVs over the years, but. I hope you guys enjoyed this entertaining video, especially me paging PS4 headphones with the UPAM. Let me know if you want me if you want to see more video series like this, maybe like two or three more video series of me paging random, no, random non-paging speakers or headphones, because I know I have some earphones in the house. I've been throwing away a bunch of earphones lately. I hope I have some left over. To show you guys I it's the same concept as this but yeah please let me know if you want to see any more content like this me you pamming random speakers I try to get a kids a kids meal toy one day I'll try just for this speaker stay tuned for more